Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of two-step multiplication and division problems. This is standard 4.4H in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 30 off the 2022 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So a baker is making cakes, so it takes nine eggs to make each cake. The baker has eight cartons of eggs, and each carton contains 12 eggs. All right, so you see we've got two eaches. Whenever we see eaches, that lets us know that we are dealing with equal groups. And so most likely we're going to be using uh, multiplication or division, or maybe even both. So what's the greatest number of cakes that Baker can make using these eggs? The way this is phrased makes me think uh, there might be a few eggs left over, so we're going to have to interpret the remainder with division. So let's see how many eggs we have. Once I can figure out how many eggs I've got, I know that I can just break them up into groups of nine to make a cake, right? So I've got eight cartons. Okay, so I'm just going to draw my eight cartons here. So here are my eight cartons, and cartons typically are, uh, they do come in a dozen. Sometimes uh, they'll come in larger or smaller sizes, but typically you've got a dozen. And that's what 12 is, so let's put a dozen in each of these. All right, so let's figure out. Obviously, we can do repeated addition. That would kind of take a while. This is where multiplication helps. 8 times 12. Now, if you know your 8s or you know your 12s, that's good. Um, most students learn just up to their 10s. So let's pretend we didn't know our 12s. Well, we can just do that as a 2 by 1 multiplication. So... 2 times 8 is 96. There we go. 2 times 8 is 16. There we go. 96. I was saying the answer before he even got there. All right, so I've got 96, but let's label it 96 eggs. That's what I just figured out. I've got 96 eggs. So it takes 9 eggs to make each cake. So... I need to take my 96 eggs, so I'm going to draw a strip diagram here. So I've got my 96 eggs, and I need to put them into groups of 9. And so my question is, how many groups of 9 can I make? Because each group of 9 is going to be a cake, right? So i got a total of 96 eggs. How many 9s can I take out of there? Well, let's... It looks like that's, unless I do know my nines, uh, but let's go ahead and do division. You can kind of do it both ways here. All right, so nine goes into 96. Well, always start with your divisor going into the first digit if possible. And nine does go into nine one time. So one times nine is nine. We're just ignoring that six right now. We're looking for the least amount of digits possible that it can go into. Always check to make sure your remainder is smaller than your divisor. Zero is definitely smaller than nine. So let's bring down one digit at a time. There's only one digit left, so we'll bring down the six. Nine goes into six. Hmm, zero times. Zero times nine is zero, so I am going to have a remainder. Kind of what I thought. So I've got ten, remainder six. So that makes sense, because if I wanted to do nine times ten... Right? That's 90. If I wanted to do 9 times 11, if I wanted to try to get those that 11th cake, I would need 99 eggs. I've only got 96. So I'm falling right in between there. So I can make 10 cakes, and I just have 6 left over. 